Hello YouTube and LEGO fans and welcome to Destination LEGO. So this review is for LEGO Star Wars, the Jedi Defender class cruiser which you can see in front of you there and it is a pretty awesome set. Very large, you can see that's taken up the whole of that grey base plate, large grey base plate. Um, so this is from the summer 2013 wave of Star Wars, uh, LEGO Star Wars sets. So it's set 75025, ages 9 to 14, comes with a piece count of 927 um, and it retails in the UK for £99.99 .99 from the Lego store and the Lego store online. Okay guys, first thing to kind of um, admit on this one, I didn't actually build this set. Um, believe it or not, my wife built this set, um, she built it quite a few weeks ago now and I just have not got around to reviewing it so apologies in advance if I miss anything because normally when I build things then you get to know all the features and the functions and how it works etc but I've had a good look at the set and I think I've pretty much picked up all the features on it so hopefully I will get around all of them but there are quite a few on this um, and like I said first thing to point out I mean I think it is an awesome looking set um, while it's sat there actually I'll just give that a spin round so you can uh, kind of appreciate the scale and awesomeness um, of this uh, particular Lego Star Wars set. Get that light back there so you can see a bit better that and detail there. This engine detail here again is pretty awesome um, and comes with four minifigures which we will take a look at in a second. Okay guys, before we get on the review, just very quickly, because I'm conscious this may be a long video, a quick look at the box front there. Obviously it is a large box, um, given the size of this particular set. My hand on it. Um, as usual, some of the features, etc. on the rear of the box there. Let's get that out of the way. Um, sticker sheet there. There's just a shot of our sticker sheet. It's got a few stickers on it, but given the size of the set, not too bad. Um, comes with two instruction manuals, so there's set one, and there is instruction manuals set two. Comes with a brick separator. Um, the other thing that I do uh, want to show you is the amount of spare bits that you get with this. I'm just going to try and bring those up there. Just get a light on that. Okay, there we go. So hopefully you can see all those spare bits, and there are a lot of spare pieces on here. So either a case of it genuinely comes with all these spare pieces, or the wife has uh, messed up some of the build. But I trust her, so I'm assuming these are the spare bits. Um, but there we go, guys. So a lot of spare pieces. Right, let's get on with the review and let's take a look at those minifigures. Okay, guys, let's take a look at our first minifigure. This is the Sith Warrior. I'm gonna be try to be quick with these because again the amount of time this review may take um, you can see some pretty awesome printing on this the Sith Warrior front and rear torso printing comes with these two lightsabers and it comes with the black hilts which is pretty cool um, you can see this hood piece here so if we remove that take a look at that face printing detail there Again, which is pretty awesome. Closer look at that print in detail on the front and the rear. So that's our first minifigure, guys, the Sith Warrior. Okay, next up we have our Jedi Knight. I'm bring that in again for that close-up of that printing. Legs, torso, just look around at that rear torso printing. You can see there. Uh, comes obviously with this lightsaber, it's got the silver hilt and the blue lightsaber piece. Face printing, it's obviously only single sided. Um, and it has this crown piece on, on the top there. But again, closer look at that printing. And again, this is a new minifigure um, to this set, as per was the Sith Warrior I just showed you. Okay, next up we have this Jedi Consular and comes with this double ended um, lightsaber, green with a silver hilt. Let's just get that 
to the side like that so we can see a closer detail of that print in there on the legs through to the front of the torso rear torso print in there you can see the print into the face it has this head gown on so let's just remove that get a closer look at that face print in detail again pretty awesome colors on there it is only single sided and show you that separate piece there which goes on the head molded piece and obviously just simply slots onto the head like so again final look at that print pretty cool so on to the final minifigure for this set Okay, finally we have our uh, Sif Trooper. Um, this is not a new minifigure to this set. This um, uh, came in a battle pack. I can't remember the name of the battle pack, but it certainly came in a Sif Troopers battle pack. Sif Troopers versus something. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm sure you will tell me. Um, so just a quick look at this one. Uh, there we go. Try and get that in. Leg printing in through to the torso. Rear torso printing comes with standard blaster there you can see the helmet is pretty cool some cool colouring on here with the silver and the red detail in there on the nose and on the top centre there and through the top um, and all the way over the centre actually to the rear um, as you can see there face standard face set single sided so that is our final minifigure for this set and that is our Sif Trooper. Okay guys, so for a view of the actual set itself now, so I'm just going to take you round in this position um, and show you some of the features. Uh, I'm going to show the underside of the craft and then I'm going to go off the tripod, so again apologies for camera shake, um, and try to show you some of the details um, closer up and inside, because um, some of these compartments do um, open up. Okay, so the first function I want to show you actually is right here in the centre, this piece here. So I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit better. There we go. So this piece here, um, this actually lifts up like so. And this is actually to lift the um, actual craft up with, like that. It's a lifting handle, so I'll just show that. There we go. Um, so great, great little function to be able to lift it. And actually, while I've got it in that position, and I've got it lifted up, I'm going to show you the underside um, of the craft there. But I've got to be careful that I don't drop any pieces here because the pieces do come off. Okay, so quick view of the underside, like so, and that kind of gives you an idea of how this is built. Quite a few Technic pieces there in the center. Um, the landing gear here, this does retract like so, so that can be put away um, in a number of ways actually, um, but like that. Um, all four of those are fully adjustable um, and again um, on the front like so. Okay guys, so that is the underside of the spacecraft um, itself or rather as the Jedi class um, Defender class cruiser okay so here we go back now so it's just showing you some of the detail in here at the front and they've used lightsaber pieces here again pretty good use of parts and I think that does look pretty awesome you have this front piece here which drops down um, and again I apologize I'm not entirely sure of the function but one of the crates I assume can fit in there uh, but I will show you the crates in a second when I get round to them there's one of the stickos up there at the top. Um, on the side here, um, we have these cannons. Um, I believe these do adjust. So I'll just try and show you that. Yeah, you can see that. I think they do actually go 360. Uh, apologies, that's just come off. Okay, but you can see them um, obviously adjusting around like so. Just put that back. And we have the same um, on the other side there but the thing with these they're not only static cannons these are actually four flick fire missiles so just to show you that we've got the part at the rear there 
get any closer. The rear here, um, and that's how we flip them out. So again, I'll just show you that very quickly. Obviously, not a lot of power behind that, but you get the idea there of uh, how they flick, how they actually flick out. Okay, next thing to show you while we're at the front is these here are actually hatches that can lift up. So we have that one there on that side and then on the other side exactly the same. Um, I will show you what's inside there in a second but there's plenty of room in there to fit minifigures. Get quite a few of them in there actually but like I said I'll show you that again and these simply go back down and they can just clip into place. There is a, a modified 2x2 two two plate there with a stud piece on it. Um, on the top of the craft, I'll show you it from this angle but then also when I go off the tripod we have this piece here which lifts out um, so in here there is a crate get that focused in, so I'll show you that while I'm here um, and inside there is a holocron so let's take that out, hopefully you can, we can get this to zoom in I've lost that now. Come on, camera, work. There we go, finally. So we have a holocron there, which you can see, um, and that goes into the crate. The crate closes up like so, and then that can fit nice and simply back um, inside the top there, like that. Again, you can see closer there where that goes. So that is right there. So just show you that again coming out. It just quite simply comes out like so and very easily slots back into position. Okay, just moving back slightly. So we have this piece here and this does spin 360 degrees, but it doesn't only do that. This piece actually lifts off as well. So let's try and do that and get that off. Okay, so like I said, this piece here does just simply lift off, like so. You can see there what that piece looks like when it's off. Okay, and there's that piece there that obviously does that 360 um, spin, but like I said, you can uh, show you another look at that uh, when I give the view from the top. And again, that just simply sits back on top of the set like so. Okay, so moving round now. Next thing I want to focus on are the um, escape pods, which are here and on the other side here. So if we can get a little bit in there. So that's the escape pod there. Now this just simply, I say simply, it just slides off, it pulls off. There we go. Hopefully you can see there. There is a Technic pin, which my finger is touching there, which is what this holds the escape pod on. And there are two um, like runners here, um, there and there, and that's what the escape pod um, actually sits on. So just zoom out a little bit so we can get a better shot of this. Okay, so this is the escape pod piece. Some additional long in on this. Okay, there we go. Um, now this part actually comes off. Like that, so that was a top cover, and there's the inside view of this escape pod. So you can see there that's kind of your little seating area there. Um, spin it round, and you can see there is a little um, screen there, a little display screen, so that is a sticker. Um, so that's obviously where you can sit your minifigure there who obviously is going to escape from the Defender. So just simply slot that back on top and again like that. So then again this just simply slides back into place. Zoom the camera in. Okay, so there again we can see those runners, just place it on top. And 
to slide back into position. Okay, so that's that back in place now. While we're on this area, um, we can see here, just move this angle around, we can see some of the rear detailing round, that rear exhaust stroke engine piece. I'll we'll just spin that around. And you can see that rear engine detail. So these pieces back here, these can be adjusted, so they can be turned into that position. You see that there, and there are four of those. So we have the two obviously towards the top, and there are two um, down, obviously towards the rear. Uh, sorry, the um, the bottom side. So you could have those in that position. You can see there what that would look like, um, looking from the front of the ship, kind of like air brakes probably the best way to describe those. Again, just push those back into place um, quite simply like that. Okay, next up we have this hatch here at the back actually. is a hatch, you don't know that yet because I haven't showed you. So let's just zoom in a little bit closer. So this piece here lifts up like so. And that piece is on a hinge so that goes down like so and inside here hopefully you can see there is another crate okay there we go and inside the crate is another holocron so I'm going to try and attempt to get this one out again to show you this one no doubt I'll probably drop it again okay so we have a, another holocron in there this time making use of a translucent red piece and again, the lid fits back on that, and that slides back in inside the rear. There, close the door, bring that hatch down. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for the um, functions um, on the set from that view. So I think what I'll do now is go off the tripod and show you some of the inside views, um, particularly of this area here at the front. Okay guys, so here we are off the tripod, so I'm going to get straight into this. So here we have these front compartments that opened up, which we can see there. Um, and you can see inside there, there is a lot of room um, to put your minifigures. Okay, and we can actually see there, there is a sticker there. Hopefully you can see that. So that's obviously going to be a screen. Um, for our minifigures to view from. And you can see there actually is the seat. This is the seat area, so the feet. And hopefully you can see a little slot there, or well, a little groove, so that's where the minifigure's feet sit to hold in position. Um, but then the minifigure is obviously in a very laid back position, so that's the first side. Um, over to the other side, should be identical. And it is. Again, there you can see the screen on that side so that's those front compartments just wanted to show you these sections again so that's where I showed you that where that first holocron is so you can see that they're lifting up again you can see where that fits um, the other part that does come up is that part there which I showed you it can be a little bit awkward to get out there we go so again, you can see inside there, nothing particularly special um, inside. Um, and there we go, you could fit probably a minifigure or two in there if you really wanted to. Um, but that again, just slides back, <clears throat> fits into place there on top. Um, like so, closer look at that handle while I'm here. I think that's a pretty cool little function because it does look, and they've kind of made it so it does really integrate well and look part of the spacecraft. Um, but it does just simply slide up like so. Um, and then obviously you can fit a finger on there and really easily um, lift this up. A bit close up there, some of the detailing um, around the top section. 
Okay, I'll just carry on giving that a spin round and hopefully giving you a view of the detailing um, round the sides and kind of getting into some of these niggly, fiddly little areas. And then you can see the exhaust area there. And there's those escape pods or one of those escape pods. Um, and the satellite there. Okay, hopefully I've managed to cover everything off there. Okay guys, that's my review of this set complete, the Jedi Defender class cruiser. Um, <clears throat> I think this is a pretty awesome set actually, I have to say. Um, got some great features on it, good playability. It is a big set, so probably for like the older um, kids, stroke younger teenagers for regards to playing with the set. Um, but because of the size and scale of it, I think it looks awesome as well. So it's great for a foals. It should appeal to a foals because uh, it will look good um, on display. So yeah, um, hopefully you did appreciate this um, review. And if you did so, please do go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and like the video. Um, please provide any comments, feedback down in the comments section. If I have missed anything, I do apologise. Um, like I said, I didn't actually build this set. The wife did. Um, but yeah, hopefully I managed to um, cover all the features, if not most of the features, um, on the set. Anyway guys, if you haven't done so already and you're viewing the, one of my videos for the first time, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next review. Cheers!